Another episode of the Josh Potter Show. It must be Wednesday or whatever day you really watch it on, to be quite honest with you. Tis I, Josh Potter, here with you once again. And boy, oh boy, Agent Roach has been busy getting Ooh. me some shows. Oh, I'm so excited. It starts all up here coming up April 26th and 27th, Huntsville, Alabama. Stand up live. Get those tickets. Everything's on sale. May 3rd, Seattle at the Hereafter. May 17th and 18th, Chicago, Illinois at the Old Comedy Bar. May 30th, Washington, D.C. And then we're going to Allentown, Pennsylvania, May 31st. Uh, Tim Butterley's going to be there with me at the Emmaus Theater. We got June 14th and 15th in Houston. Then we got June 27th in Baltimore. Rescheduled that bad boy. June 28th, Cleveland, Ohio. Just went on sale. Also, that just went on sale, Boston, Massachusetts, August 10th, Laugh Boston, August 15th, Omaha, August 16th and 17th, Des Moines. We even got September dates coming to Portland, coming to Long Island. Oh boy, so many things. Get over to thejoshpotter.com, thejoshpotter.com, and get all your tickets there. You can also find details on Behind the Jeans, which goes live if you're watching this on the day it airs. It goes live at 3 p.m. Pacific. 6 p.m. Eastern, and uh, of course, there's the Patreon, patreon.com slash the Josh Potter Show. Rate, review, subscribe, that whole thing. Oh, boy, I'm glad it's all out of the way. And with us, our very special guest, our favorite guest, Chase O'Donnell, <laughs> folks. <laughs> Yay! Uh, okay, I would just like to say... Yes. I've already said it off camera, love the look. Oh, I forgot. I uh, I went as Fred Durst to a party last night, so I thought I'd keep the... I even have earrings on, you can see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I love the look of your set. And I know it's been this way for a while, but yeah, the but last you were here time the I first was here, time. it was not. And I just... The last time you were here was our first episode here in this Roach Motel studio. And yes, it was very barren compared to now it is what it is. The curtains, the lights... Um, I would also like to say, yes, again, this has been said off camera, but congrats on the comedy store. And oh, you don't have, thank you. Well, I appreciate there's just it. a lot to, updated since I was on the show <laughs> yeah, last. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And congrats on <laughs> Behind the Jeans and just so many wonderful things. So cheers. Cheers. I thought you were going to say I'm extra caffeinated and I'm feeling weird because that's what Chase told me. Off okay, camera. well, off camera. Yes, I'm extra caffeinated but i don't know what's going on with me i've been sleeping so much god bless you let you let your sleep who cares well, i go maybe i need it yeah but i i even like i woke up at seven i went back to sleep till 10 and then i wanted to just i could have just slept all day yeah i've been there so i went to starbucks i got a coffee i got an espresso shot i got here i'm on a red ball Trust me, I can't and wait till I you people am... get the hell out of my house so I can go back to sleep. I'll tell you what. <laughs> you had a Dominican lady in here cleaning all day, listening to God knows what kind of music. And well, I'd love mean? to go back to sleep, too. I'll tell you, I could sleep all day. You mean Dominican music? I think it was, but I think okay. it was some other nonsense, too, mixed in there. Okay. Just some, <laughs> you know, some noise that the kids listen to. So anyways. Cardi B's and stuff. No, that's not. that. People love that music. I know. Um, oh, yeah. You're going to hit that. Well, I was going to preface it by saying I don't I don't do well talking once I hit this. Well, I can talk pretty much for the both of us. And you do pretty good, I think. More better than you think. I always. Why don't you give it a try? This is the perfect time to practice. These are. This is what's going on in my head. I'm going because, you know. I, are you worried of canceled stuff? You get like I'm uh, worried your brain people, in a pretzel? I'm worried people are going to go, what's wrong with this girl? She can't even talk. I think like the comments are going to be mean. I don't think so. I think you're misguided in your assessment. You're already going into the boat ride thinking the boat's going to sink. Yeah. Can't do that. Yeah, I know. You're right. Change the way Change my brain the, thinks. Rewire your brain. Get rid of that negative self-talk. I don't even think you did it. <laughs> I don't I even think you let the coil heat up for a well, second. Nothing? I don't think I saw it. No, you got to pull it a little longer than okay, that. Well, I, I was mean, nervous. You really just took a sip off of it. <laughs> got boy, camera oh shy. Yeah. Of course, Chase's OnlyFans special is out there right now. You didn't do it. I don't think. Did oh, anything come out? Now you did it. Now you did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
It was a little deeper than I Yes, thought. my OnlyFans special is out. <laughs> It's out there, I folks. Have she lots, has an OnlyFans account. I have an OnlyFans account. There are lots of men sliding into those DMs <laughs> on OnlyFans asking. What are they asking for? <laughs> have you ever heard heinous talk like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. Listen, it's nothing new. You've heard this talk before. But they're all wanting, like, where are the nudes? Yeah, they want the uh, only the typical OnlyFans fair. They're going, What's what am I doing on here if not for... <laughs> So, you know, I if you um, subscribe to my OnlyFans. Um, <laughs> That's so weird to hear you say. <laughs> the, the content you'll receive is, you know, like on Instagram, how I do like those dances. Mm-hmm. I've stopped really doing those. They're only on OnlyFans. Oh, boy, that premium content, folks. <laughs> It's only if on OnlyFans. If musicals are real, it's only, oh, you can only get it on OnlyFans. <laughs> no, fans. no, no, not if musicals are real. Just dances. Oh, just dances in general. Yeah, dances oh. in general. Dances in general? Only, only fans. On OnlyFans. Only fans. on well, OnlyFans. Now guys are like, why don't you do that, but you're a dance. I know. Well, <laughs> yeah. I, I know, it's got to be tough. I mean, a tough place, but go check out the special, <laughs> folks. Go yeah, sign yeah. up. If you're on there, Maybe you want to laugh a little bit while you're on there, too. <laughs> well, I think OnlyFans, they're trying to get people on there, not just for actual content. No, yes, of course. They're trying to branch out and th- getting comedians on is a way to like be like, oh, look, we have other content than yes. just what you think. One of my good but... buddies, Hormos, uh, who, uh, by the way, his fiance, Angie, is the one who hooked up the earrings. Oh. Yes, for yesterday. Tape glued them to my face. Um, but... Hormos is also on OnlyFans. He did the special the with you. The same episode as me. Yes. Yeah, so uh, it is jarring when, because I did, like, I helped him out with the, like, signing up or whatever, giving him a tip or whatever the hell, because he had to get tips. And uh, <laughs> it's just bizarre when I do crack open OnlyFans to use it for OnlyFans purposes. Then I see Hormos' <laughs> face all of a sudden. I go, yeah. <laughs> I got to unsubscribe. Uh, I watched the special, though. Did, uh, is how's hormones doing on OnlyFans? Or that does, I don't know. I, I try to avoid it. I, I hate that I, when I'm scrolling and it's like, it's me, hormones. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus, Lord. I'm trying to come over here. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting. Golly. Anyways, I really would love you guys to subscribe to my OnlyFans because um, it'll help me out financially. It actually is yes. a, a good money maker if people <laughs> support Support my work. Yes, and I, I've, I've got to do yours too. Like I did almost. Now I. Yeah, but I charge. I charge. <laughs> That's fine. I. <laughs> it's ten dollars if you want to see my dances. <laughs> so wild! You're on there. I can't believe it. Anyways. Okay. Anyways, I did it live. <laughs> I went live on OnlyFans. Zero views the whole time. <laughs> not a single person joined. Not me not even to check out and see. Not even maybe, to check out what was going maybe on. Maybe there would be a. Maybe there would be <laughs> something, but they didn't even want to know. He's doing stand up. Were, were you t- telling jokes or just hanging out? I just, you know, I like. I was just hanging out. I just, okay. I was just like, hey, I'm live. Two OnlyFans, you said that. Yeah. I, well, I mean, you got to have subscribers so that they know you go live. Right? I have subscribers. And they just said, no. Nope, Nobody tuned in. Mm, okay. Well, hey, next time, <laughs> you know. All I'm right. a, okay, I'm contractually obligated to go live once a month. Oh, boy. So I'll be going live a few <laughs> more times. <laughs> so check it out, folks. Chase is OnlyFans. What is it? Just Chase Elaine? It's Chase underscore Elaine because Chase Elaine is a porn star. Did you have trouble? You had to throw a porn star. Well, uh, no, I just I there. just thought how fun. Like, oh. hey, you guys, this is my username. Yeah, how cause... fun to confuse the people and get them all into a sweaty anger <laughs> when they realize, oh, it was all a goof. <laughs> it is April Fool's. Well, it we're was, filming yeah. this on April Ugh, I know. It sucks. The worst day ever. <laughs> April Fool's. Gotcha. Well. It's time to get serious. Let's okay, get into okay. some news topics, eh? Shall we? And I came across this uh, video. I love these things. It's a. Uh, I had one. What was it? Last week we had one where a man 
fumbled the bag. It's these training videos, these old school training videos for restaurants or corporate life. And they kind of go through like what not to do. Like if you got a new job, you'd have to sit down and watch these things. Oh, yeah. So here's one that uh, I found very interesting. I think they're discussing okay. maybe uh, dealing this- with diversity in the workplace. Okay, okay. On your computer. Oh, Rosa Parks. Hey, did you know they're going to build a statue of her and put it in the U.S. Capitol building? Oh, that's great. She deserves it. Mm-hmm. Hey, did I ever tell you my grandfather worked with her to start the civil rights movement? Really? Yeah, he was the guy who was like, get up, move it, lady, get to the back. <laughs> waka waka. Never would have happened without him. <gasps> now, that's a great LOL. I mean, come on. It's like... Uh, <laughs> She didn't even crack a smile. He almost said it's serious. So I kind of believed him for a second. What if that was his fault? Fa- this author? is so funny because you know these are actors that were so excited to book the job. And this is, they really took these roles seriously. <laughs> I think that guy should land a sitcom. That was, yeah, great, was great timing. The woman, imagine being in her position where it's like, I really need a job. So I'm going to take this <laughs> acting gig. And then they're like, okay, so you're a woman who is black <laughs> and you're gonna say something about rosa parks and the guy's gonna say something incredibly egregious to you <laughs> all right go i don't think you need a real shakespearean actress to pull that off could have oh, just pulled the lady oh off gosh. the street got a reaction but yeah it's probably oh. i'm assuming this is one of those uh, you really get what not to do sometimes jokey jokes in the workplace might go a little too far Honestly, this was such a well-written sketch. I've never heard that one before. I I'm not going to lie. Have you heard it? I've never. Heard I that haven't one. heard that before. I've heard the old my uh, my uh, grandpa was in the Holocaust. He was in the he fell from or my grandpa died in a Holocaust. He fell from one of the guard towers. I heard that one before. Oh, I haven't even. Lol, heard lol. That. You hear that one a million times. You do. Haven't heard it. Yeah. Huh. Um, this one though, I've never heard that one. Where the <laughs> what a famous who is the man who told her to go to the back? That's what I'd like. <laughs> to know we really should get to the bottom of that and thank him I, it, it kind of raised awareness of one of the heroes of the civil rights movement. yeah let's does see. it say oh, driver james blake now what happened to him was he uh, oh he was a bus driver what what happened does it say anything about his later life of course he was a bus driver he probably was just telling everyone could you imagine if that day he was just like so in such a terrible mood, he's just telling everyone to go to the back. Get in the back, <laughs> all y'all. I don't want to talk to any of you. Yeah, what if he was just in? He was just like in a shit mood, just in a bad mood. And, yeah, but the they were. Uh, I mean, he. What if he was just really like diligent about his job? You know what I'm saying? Like it was a rule. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's just a real big rule follower. He's like, hey, I don't write the rules. <laughs> he apparently worked at the bus company for another 19 years after that. They, yeah, they were... couldn't fire him for enforcing the rules. <laughs> he died of a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, Kyle, because like, he's so life. stressed out. Why does everyone hate me for just doing my job? Wow. I didn't make the rules. Call Congress if you don't like it. You know what? You're right. <laughs> Can we watch that video one more time? Of course. I just think I got a kick out of that acting scene. <laughs> Use that on your computer. Like, oh, Rosa Parks. Hey, did you know they're going to build a statue of her and put it in the U.S. Capitol building? Oh, that's great. She deserves it. Mm-hmm. Hey, did I ever tell you my grandfather worked with her to start the civil rights movement? Really? Yeah, he was the guy who was like, get up, move it, lady, get to the back. <laughs> they should have had a guy with them be like, Never good one, Jeff. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, she said she fuck you. Oh, at the she end? said fuck you. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't catch Ooh, that part the first me time. Me neither. I'm glad we rewatched. What if the at the end of this, they it's go, like you're fired. No, at the end of <laughs> yeah, at the end of the training video, they go. Now her reaction, not ideal. That's what the <laughs> yeah, whole thing's about. The video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, if somebody were to tell what you an was offensive, wrong here? if someone were to tell you an offensive joke in the workplace, <laughs> you're supposed to take that in stride. <laughs> Yeah, you have to go high. When they go low, you go high. Act like you're a mature adult for <laughs> once. This, I feel like, would be a scene from The Office. Like, Banding it really... About, yeah, yeah, it was. Maybe it was a prelude. It's Is wow. that Jim from The Office? He does have that shaggy yeah. hair. Yeah. I love how they make it like the dipshit guy, too, where it's like his hair's a little shaggy. He's kind of fat. He's just kind of like, hey, what's up? 
Yeah, no, I had a few Budweiser's watched the ball game last night. Now I'm here doing my fucking reports or whatever. <laughs> but he's the office jokester. It is interesting how the writers got into that bit. Who's that on your computer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, uh, it's, <laughs> hey, what if it's did also you know? the, they come in, they go, having personal things on your computer also <laughs> <Yeah>. frowned upon. <laughs> Please refrain from any religious or <laughs> racial figures that might spark comments like this one. Clearly, she wasn't doing her work. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. had every right to. <laughs> Wow. Looking up, <laughs> looking up personal things on company time <laughs> is frowned upon, despite them being perhaps morally and righteously uh, <laughs> purposeful. These types of things can be done on your own time. I feel like I'm at a personal comedy show. If she never had Rosa Parks on her laptop, Jeff might have never brought it up. <laughs> he put it up. The uh, inner city blacks. <laughs> well, we have some other serious Anyways, business. I give that one 10 out of 10. Thank you for showing that to me. Of course. That was fantastic. Of course. Well, we've got something that you might not find fantastic. Uh -oh. This comes to us by way of DRP, a Roach reporter okay. who out there uh, won a Roachy last year, as a matter of fact. Josh Potter Show at gmail.com is where you can send in your roach reportings and uh, she wrote me an email it says looks like the school district on this one is gonna have to pay lots of money okay. when i was a kid the teacher just gave me a better grade when i tasted his semen <gasps> what i'm bum, sorry this bum, threw me off bum. well that's what i'm saying that's the uh, email there so let's see what happens the los angeles unified school district will pay 3.55 million to two more in two more individuals who allege they were abused as students by former teacher mark burnt one of the former students at miramonte elementary school where Barnt taught for decades will receive 1.85 million that's a lot for a kid in elementary school i gotta tell you that oh the kid gets 1.85 yeah and the other one's gonna get 1.7 i wonder how they change it they're like mm. yeah he had slightly more semen than you <laughs> He's going to be traumatized just uh, 2% more than 1. you. 1.85's worth. Yeah. 1.7's <laughs> worth. We've done the math on it here. Their lawsuits <laughs> alleged. Ooh, oh my boy. Oh my God. My thing jumped all around here. Uh, their lawsuit alleged that Burnt sexually harassed, abused, and molested them on multiple occasions between aught four and aught eight. LA Unified did not immediately respond to the request for comment Monday. The settlements did not include any admissions of wrongdoing by the district. Uh, bah, 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 bah. The yep. district said he did nothing wrong. Well, they just said that they they had no wrongdoing. Oh. He uh, uh, burnt a former third grade teacher, was arrested back in 2012, and pleaded no contest to the following uh year of 23 counts of lewd conduct the allegations against him included that he fed children his semen in what he called a tasting game that is pretty bad yeah i'd say so that is <laughs> it also i mean this seems like he didn't even hide it like usually like the past uh semen teachers semen terrorists whom are teachers that we've come across they've been putting it like on donuts in oh pastries, things like that, or like cookies, perhaps the oh old cookies. My God. But this is just, I think this guy's just like, I wonder if this is just straight from the tap, the way that he's doing it, the tasting game. What, what do you mean from the tap? He jerks off right into it? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was getting at. Because <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, I, I always wonder, Oh my! like God. if you had a cookie and it had semen on it, would you be like, there's semen on this cookie? Would you know? Uh, yes. Just you would immediately leap to see. Me. I wouldn't even have to taste it. Just the look on it. Sure. Uh, I sure. would go. I first would question. But I would go. What frosting? is on this? Or a glaze of some sort. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Would your mind go? This looks like jizz. I think so. My mind wouldn't be anywhere near jizz. I mean, but I'm a boy, so then when I ate it, I'd be like, "It's weird." Wouldn't you just like see the textures a little like? I guess yeah. Watery? But I thought it was like they did a good job of cloaking it. I give them too much credit, these criminals, because I always well, think if they it was mask mixed it. in with frosting. Right, sure, that's but true too. I think you're saying it's just right. You're right. I you're feel right. like every episode there's one of these stories. In oh, a different there sure way. is. Te there's semen terrorism. <laughs> yeah. It's abound out there, folks. Yeah. We've got a lot of them. 
As a matter of fact, and I think there's another one. The way here. I'm seeing it in my head is the teacher calls the kids up. There's like plastic cups lined up. Oh, you think they had cups? And they he goes, okay, drink all the cups. Is that how you're seeing it? I saw it as he was. Feeding. <laughs> This is so weird that I like that you asked me that and I'm going to describe what I thought. Okay, what did you see? I pictured the scene in Mary Poppins when she pours them um, the the medicine into the big spoon and then they eat just it. a spoonful of sugar. Yes, but remember when she he, they they're like I hate medicine and then <laughs> I forgot you know then, all this musical <laughs> very well. And then they she pours it in one and the, the I forget what the first flavor is. She's like. Mm, a scotch ripple and then the <laughs> other kids like it changes color and he gets like candy apple or some shit like that can you remember. pull that scene up um i don't know if you're allowed to watch it on your show we'll watch it but we'll probably get flagged so cut it out See, we would have to cut it out because disney oh. yeah, yeah 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 so you mean like little shot glasses of semen you're thinking i thought he was giving them spoonfuls of spoonfuls semen. of Just semen the- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just a spoonful of semen helps, helps the, the medicine, medicine go down. down. The medicine <laughs> go down. The Are we medicine gonna watch it? Go down. Just a spoonful <laughs> of semen. I'm gonna, dude. Okay, I uh, okay. one time I brought a girl home and my friend was sleeping on the couch and uh, we were all talking in the living room and my room was off of the living room and uh, it was time to bring the girl into my room. And I go, I was like, come with me and you'll be in. And then everyone was like thoroughly creeped out. Anyhow. Because it was a little too much. Uh, a world of pure imagination. <laughs> Let's see it. Even though we're going to have to cut you it see, out. You see, in every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. Find, Find the, the fun, fun and... Snap. The job's a game. <laughs> no, we don't have to watch the song. I want to see them eat the medicine. <laughs> mm. I don't want to eat the medicine. Stupid kid. They're shitty little children who threw all their toys around and this dad comes home from a bank and now I relate with the dad. Now that I'm old and the dad comes back from the bank, he's just like, a British home. Requires nothing less. And then he goes into the song and he talks about how it needs to be run like a fucking. What did you sing for me and Haley that one time? I don't remember. But it was exact. Was it Mary? There we go. Oh, okay. Watch, they gasp when it changes colors. I don't want it. it. (laughs) Then it's green. She's like, holy shit. Glug, glug, glug. She a little for mama, too. Little for Mama Poppins, gotta have mine. Mine cordial, delicious. <laughs> what the strawberry? F- mm. <laughs> what was hers? I Lime didn't... cordial. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is that? I didn't. Rum punch. Rum punch. Quite satisfactory. <laughs> that just means she's getting a little. Oh. Yeah, she's getting a little sauce. Oh, rum punch. You know, there's probably things I should rewatch this and go. I probably missed a lot of things that went right over my head. When's the last time you saw that? Ah. Uh, we could probably play that little snippet. I was, but we'll see. I'm sure, eighth grade. I was in Mary Poppins the ballet when I was in eighth grade. <laughs> I mean, I watched it a disgusting amount of times. That... Well, you like know it heart like word for <laughs> yeah, word. I know it's so that's, it's that's the weirdest shocking. thing about me. I think probably. I think you did perform Mary Poppins when we were at Chandler um, doing the mic drop. Or was it Willy Wonka? No. Was it Willy Wonka? Could have been. The the grandpa scene? No, no it would have, wouldn't have been that one. Okay. I think it was. <laughs> I don't remember. I think it was Mary Poppins. Today's Josh Potter show is brought to us by Mac Weldon. And typically, I don't try to dress like a complete bonehead. I try to dress nicer than this. And Mac Weldon's helping me out. They can make me, you know have my Fred Durst outfit on that I have now, but also I can wear this one later after I take all this nonsense off and I can look like a respectable man. You may have been told that you can't have it all. Well, Mac Weldon's helping you have it all, my friend, looking sharp and being comfortable in an outfit. Mac Weldon is here putting that rumor to rest. Say goodbye to starchy Oxfords and stiff chinos. Mac Weldon makes clothes out of performance fabrics like their air knit fabric and their ultra light 
anti swapping no stink. I got this bad boy right here, but I got to tell you, my personal favorite, the hoodie I got. Oh, my God. So many compliments on it. And I'm going to wear that next time. I wish it was a little cooler in the studio. I would have wore it today, but I got this bad boy right here. It's so light, and it hides my gut that I have. Oh, I love it so much. Mac Weldon lets you look incredible without seeming like you're trying too hard. So stock up on all your wardrobe classics and get ready to be the most stylish and comfortable guy at the office. Get timeless looks with modern comfort from Mac Weldon. Go to MacWeldon.com. Get 20% off your first order with promo code Potter. That's M-A-C-K-W-E-L-D-O-N.com. Promo code potter p-o-t-t-e-r anyhow back to the <laughs> okay terror. okay darker times lewis As- asavado and josh norby sent this one in it says a, wait we're done with that one? Oh yeah that i mean just, for the most part he's in jail or whatever he's convicted it and was an children update. got paid millions to millions because they ate the semen think about how much millions you'd make if you got millions for every semen you ate i'm gonna say something yes I watched the Hulu documentary Quiet on Set. Oh, my God. I knew this was going to. That's where I thought this was going to go. Well, this reminds me of this. You know what? I I didn't watch it. You know why? Why? Because I said to myself, I go, oh, let me guess what happens. The kids get molested. Yeah. All right. I don't need to watch it. I don't need to hear Drake Bell describe. (gasps) Oh, but it's powerful. (laughs) I would call it. It's powerful. It's the first time he talks about it. It's just. Did you watch it? I mean, it's. It oh. is it is weird to me to want to watch something I know the kids get molested in, and then I also just like I have to hear Drake Bell detail it. Like you it know doesn't what? seem worth it. I'll watch a baseball. Did game. you watch the Michael Jackson Leaving Neverland? I did watch that one. If you've seen that one, yeah, you've this seen is them all. yeah, you've seen them all exactly. You've seen them all. Wayne Robson described this one was perfectly. Very that similar it, I mean, to that. I have to hear the sexy details of the fucking. <laughs> It's terrible. Jake, I don't uh, hear Jake it. said he doesn't say what happens. He goes, "Imagine the worst thing that could ever happen." Yeah, we are Drake Bell. We are. Yeah. We're imagining. It's and so sad. I almost cried watching it. You almost cried because these boys were like my heroes growing up. I know. I didn't know that they were getting raped. <laughs> <laughs> nor did they. Nor did I. I, I mean, we didn't have know. Been, I wouldn't have been. And like, evidently, either did Keenan. So get off his sack, okay? Oh, Keenan, you're right. Keenan's left out of the documentary. Yeah, and, and everyone's Kel. like, "What the fuck, dude?" Hmm. You know, Cal got. You know, Cal did. Yeah, because he. Gets, he... No, I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's a terrible. <laughs> well, you've turned very religious. I don't know if you know that. I did, so. but anywho. Okay, anywho. Back to the semen terrorism that's not on set. Okay. This <laughs> is just out there in the world, folks. Roadside ice cream vendor. In Telen- Telangana, Warangal district. I don't even know where the hell that is. Is this India? You know India, don't you, Alex? <laughs> um, <laughs> they were arrested after a video emerged showing him masturbating on his own product, police said. The man identified as Kalurum Kurbaya was selling ice cream in Nakanda, where he was caught on camera engaging in an objectable act. God. These sound like fake places and names, so I don't even know that this happened. This sounds like, what are we talking about? He's here? selling ice cream after masturbating into it? Mm-hmm. Kurbaya uh. was, would you know, now would you know that if it was ice cream? Well, if it's mixed in, probably not. Right, like it's like Cold Stone. He's like folding it in. I <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> and you probably would, wouldn't even tell. Yeah, be I, able to tell, but the they, he said people saw him doing it. I have. Oh, there's video. Oh, I, I of haven't course. eaten an abundance of semen. Of course, some semen's gotten in there. You know what I mean? So I don't know that it's such a strong flavor that it would strike me as like how do they other than the camera or the video this video it's here the that we, it's the texture it's the texture but this is this is they caught it on camera yeah this is easy caught red In handed if you will white, call, white caught white handed <laughs> warongal telangana where the hell is that folks? well it's a state in india okay so what we learned is don't Get the ice cream in Telangana. Well, that's an awful thing to say about the folk at Telangana who's are who are selling ice cream. I mean, after one one guy ruins it for everybody. Yeah, you think it's everybody's jerking it into the ice cream in Telangana? I don't think so. I don't know. I'm not going to do it. 
I'm just not going to get ice cream there. Well, we've got another uh, semen terrorist oh, in this one is another one that is. Is this a thing? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, sorry. I missed the. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. I hit the wrong one. Oh, okay. Anyways. I'm waiting for it. I don't know if this one's right. The terror. I call upon all nations to do everything they can. Is this the semen terrorism? Stop these terrorist killers. That's about semen terrorism. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't even know that was there. That's not the right thing. I was supposed to say, in Walmart. Fucking nasty. So this one's in Walmart. That was what I was getting to the entire time. Oh, okay. Anyhow. It's another <laughs> semen um, terror. Act. It is, exactly. Justin Hernando Harris was arrested Tuesday after ejaculating on a woman shopping with her daughter in a South Florida Walmart. This one back in the old U.S. of A, folks. The incident occurred in a paint section of the Walmart uh, um, in Miami Gardens. The victim reported Harris to an off-duty police officer, stating that she noticed Harris brush up against her and asked, what did you just do to me? Did you take a picture of me? Harris responded, what would I do that for? And walked away, according to police. Then, when the woman turned around, her daughter pointed to a white, creamy substance on the back of her left oh, butt no. cheek. No! Harris was arrested and charged with lewd and lavicious behavior. In no. So this woman was like, huh, I felt this guy brush up. I would have, if it were me, granted, I'm not a woman. I'm saying me as a white man getting brushed up upon in a Walmart. I say, I'm sorry. No matter who, if the guy brushed up on me, I always say I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me always, too. I would always, say, always. I'm sorry. You would have said sorry in this case, you think? And then. Lo and oh, behold, so, I go, oh, sorry. So sorry. You're like, oh, yeah. sorry. I think you got your cum on me. I'm so <laughs> sorry. I got in the way of whatever you were supposed to put your cum on because it landed on me. <laughs> sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to land on me. I'm sure. Yeah. I, I mean, got in the way. I'm I so know. sorry. I, it's my fault that your cum's on me right now. And I'm <laughs> so sorry about that. It's my fault. I apologize profusely. <laughs> Can't yeah. believe I allowed that. Anyhow. So as a white man, you would have the same response. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think it's just mm. a type of person. I would <laughs> never go, what did you just do to me? No, I mean, unless never. it was very like, unless I'm like alone in an aisle and this guy's like, <laughs> and then he just beelines it down the aisle and doesn't avoid me. I would definitely go like, what the hell was that? Okay. Yeah. But if we're just, you know, milling about and all of a sudden a guy just brushes up onto me like that, I go, oh, I'm, my bad. Now, what if I told you mm -hmm. what we learned from this video is to not go to Walmart? I think that's all you're saying a lot. It's a lot of Walmarts out there, mm -hmm. folks. So you're Do you saying, ever go? You don't ever go to a Walmart. They don't have Walmart near me. I don't. They don't. You're right. Where's a Walmart near you? I'm sure there's one over there somewhere. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm sure in this <laughs> uh, uh, uh. in this industrial uh, yard, we don't need to dox me to find out where a Walmart is near Walmart, me. Walmart, <laughs> Walmart for me is like minimum an hour away. It doesn't make any sense for me to go to Walmart. I don't care either way. I would never. I don't go, and it's not because I have anything against Walmart. I just uh, I used to live across the street from one in my old um, apartment in North Tonawanda, folks, right across the old railroad tracks. Tonawanda. I lived at Google Walmart <laughs> Sounds like on e Google Maps. The Walmart on Erie Avenue in North Tonawanda. There, you can dox North my old apartment. North Tonawanda. North Tonawanda. Where did you live? I lived, uh, see that big straight line <laughs> that we just saw? Go zoom in again. What the hell happened? No, I need you to zoom in. See that out. big straight line? That's where yeah. I lived, Erie Avenue. I lived exactly, is like, see Buffalo? where see where that cross street is, right? Go down on your mouse. I lived right there where your mouse is, right around there. Oh, wait, but like, what state further. is this? This is in Buffalo, New York. Well, Buffalo, North, that's North why. Tonawanda, New York. There's okay. my, there, literally, that is my house. That, really? Is that on there as my house? It says. What does it say? Josh's house. <laughs> Buffalo Pizza Projects. I lived next to the Buffalo Pizza Project. <laughs> I definitely did. Wow. The Cricket Tavern right there. Go, go in on that. Go in on the Cricket Tavern. Have we done this already? Have I shown the Cricket Tavern? Because this was the bar I'd walk to and drink at every single day. I was a regular. See if you can get a like a street view of that. How fun. Looks cute. You can't see it from there. Okay, see it? Oh, never mind. Zoom in. <laughs> never Cricket mind. Cricket Tavern right there, never baby. Never mind. Not what I was expecting. <laughs> so now if you turn left, go the other way. 
the Walmart is down the right old there. street there. Yep, I lived out, and my house would be <laughs> right on the right after this bush. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And we passed it. But there you are. Wow. That's where right I Right here. You yeah, lived yeah, right yeah, on this highway. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I lived on this street. This is weird. Oh, no. It's... I th- how far did you go? It's back the other way. We're Might on be Meadow a little bit. Drive. Might be... Yep. Okay. See there? Those cars are parked? Yep. Yep. Okay. Wow. Be- honestly, beautiful. beautiful there beautiful it is. Foliage. I lived in the upstairs of that duplex. <laughs> Wow, Josh. I'm doxing my landlords now. Wow. Yeah, not my beautiful. finest moment. Literally the lowest point in my life. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, if that's the lowest, then what a beautiful life you've had. Can't uh, abide <laughs> such idiocy any longer. <laughs> Today's Josh Potter Show also brought to us by the Game Time app, my favorite app on my phone. It's been coming in handy quite a bit as of late and baseball season has just begun so i can't wait to really get in there and test the game time app you want to go see a concert but the show's already started well don't panic game time as you cover and i'd imagine that happens when it comes to baseball as well oh no it's the second inning what do i do game time boom they've got you covered game time is the best way to buy tickets for all the events near you not only do they have last minute deals but they even sell tickets to events for up to an hour after the start time you can see the view from your seat before you purchase, and Game Time has 24 hour returns, no questions asked. Boy, oh boy, I went to Sloan Park down there while I was in Chandler, Arizona, watched the Cubs spring training. I've never been to Sloan Park before. Who the hell knows what Sloan Park looks like? Well, on the Game Time app, boom, bam, bing. I'm looking at my view from my seats, get a little glimpse of what I'm in store for for Sloan Park. So it came in handy there. I plan to go to a bunch of baseball games this summer, so I'm hoping that the Game Time app will be used quite a bit. So uh, with Job Loss Assurance, Game Time has you covered. If you lose your job and you need a refund on your tickets, Game Time's got you. You hear that? That's crazy. I would, at first, I wondered if I had the right copy there for a second. But Job Loss Assurance. So you're like, oh, my God, I lost my job. How am I going to feed myself? Well, Game Time's like, hey, get a refund for those tickets. We've got you. So take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app. Create an account. Use code POTTER for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code P-O-T-T-E-R for $20 off. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Well, in this story, this was sent in by two Roach reporters, too. I love getting repeats. Josh Potter show at gmail.com. You can send things in. A man was arrested on Friday after oh, appearing gosh. to carry and eat a body part from someone no. who was killed by a train. We just saw the train tracks. No. This man was killed by a train. Vert video circulating on social media showing the incident. The Kern County Sheriff's Office. Uh, said that uh, Rosendo Teles, 27, was arrested on Friday following a train collision. A pedestrian was hit by a train. I wonder how often that. I'm happens. sorry. Was he was he killed or someone an innocent? Pro- someone else. Was. So this guy's walking around and he goes. He sees a guy get hit by a train. He goes, "Oh, what luck!" And then he takes his body parts for food. That's what happened. Okay, mm-hmm. it's worse than I thought. So he saw this man get hit by a train and his leg got severed off or something. He goes, "Free leg." sick and he goes and he picks it up put it over his shoulder no. and then he gets arrested absolutely he gets arrested he's charged with removing and mutilating human remains <gasps> this guy just he probably was hungry as a recendo tell is i, mean, I think who knows he has he's something from. wrong i think he has something wrong with his i think he was stoked to be like what's this leg <laughs> a fresh leg isn't that something's programmed talk about reprogramming your brain he has some work to do. Do you think he saw the leg and was like, well, you're not using this. <laughs> and he took it. It could, yeah. <laughs> he could have been. He made a joke. <laughs> what a day. I found this whole leg here. I think he could have. He was probably so happy until the Kern County Sheriff's Office came knocking on his door. Sir, do you have a leg in here? <gasps> I mean, this is wild. Yeah, what luck for that guy. First he gets hit by a train, then this guy's walking away with his leg. Golly. And That's then, a rough day, huh? So, yeah, it says he got charged with what? Removing or mutilating human remains. Oh, my God. What a thing to be charged with. Good luck for him ever getting a job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be tough. I'll say. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, God, I do know what you mean. Let's, let's, uh, let's get to some sports. I saved the sports till the end for you. Oh, thank you. Fucking crybabies who don't like sports. Oh, oh. Beep, 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 beep
Chase opening day opening just happened. day just happened. My favorite day. Mine too. Are you excited to go to uh, some baseball games or what? I knew you were going to say baseball. Yes. Oh, that's what that's <laughs> opening day. That's what it meant. Baseball. I was trying. I was going. Is it soccer? Is it baseball? It was baseball. It was baseball. Um, do they have an opening day for soccer? I don't care or no. I mean, they might. They have the first game of the year, I'm sure. But uh, I uh, I love opening day with all of my heart. It was the fun, most fun time. And they like to do little special treats on opening day because it is like a holiday in many cities. Oh, on opening day, like the whole city celebrates the whole like a- a- um, AF- NBA. What is this one? Major MLB. League. MLB. Yes. So the whole city celebrates MLB. Well, yes, they get they are excited. They go to the bars. It's the opening day. The whole new season is upon us. Spring is here for a lot of these places. You know, they're like the weather's breaking. It's a special time. Cool. So they gave uh it's the it's at the very top there, Alex, with the uh the Mets honored a veteran, which is always very nice. Did the Dodgers do anything? The Dodgers did quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of things, but okay. let's watch watch but this we're video talk here. About the Mets. Go to the top. And here he is, our veteran of the game, Seymour Wiener. <laughs> now, <laughs> so awesome that they honored a veteran. <laughs> Do you think they were like in the meeting beforehand? I mean, think about the conversations they had in the meetings that led up to this. We're going to be honoring a veteran today, one of the oldest veteran <laughs> Met fans. He has a weird name. <laughs> or do you think they were excited about it because they were like, this is going to go viral. Everyone's going to be talking about Seymour Wiener. <sighs> I couldn't tell. I, I don't know what these meetings entail. You never go to them. Uh, you never. Uh, yeah, I mean, you just think about these suits. You know what I mean? You, these you think marketers. they're like. You think they're like. They're planning the festivities for the game. This wasn't random. They didn't. They weren't like. We got to get a veteran. Where do we get one? And they find one last minute. They had this set up. This is opening day. I think they be, since they were professionals, like in suits and ties, they weren't allowed to like. Even, I bet nobody. They've seen those videos about harassment in the workplace and they were too scared to say a thing and everybody was just like okay that's i think i think they with. hear it and they go this is gonna be awesome you do yeah who can we call to find out i'm gonna call the mets tomorrow okay uh, that's great we got to get to the bottom of it uh okay. you were talking about soccer uh adidas has recently now baseball by the way having uniform issues the fanatics people, they don't know how to make a, a fucking uniform to save their lives, evidently. Okay. And they're having real issues in all sorts of capacities. But soccer, evidently having their own issues with uniforms. Adidas banned football fans from buying German football kits customized with the number 44 after the media raised its resemblance to the symbol <gasps> used in World War II by the Nazi SS units. Oh, my God. The number 44. <laughs> Isn't there a number that is like, what is the number that's like the Nazi number? 88. 88. So you think they banned that one? I don't know. But this is supposed to be, evidently, this looks too much like a Swatska. I'd gamble to say that all 44s kind of look like a botched up Swatska. This know? one looks pretty not good, though. What about just the number four, though? They didn't ban that. Just but one Swatska versus two? It's because the, it's. The four. It's because it looks like SS. It looks yeah, like the SS. Flag. Yes, oh, yes. the SS part. I didn't even think of that. I was thinking swastikas. I go. Wait, I oh. was thinking swastikas too. No, the SS like oh. the um, the fours look like the S's on the like the sleeves. I guess there was oh. like an SS patch. Yeah, oh. something or other. That's what it says here. Not the good. SS people. We will block personalizations of the jerseys, an Adidas spokesman said. SS units were the most responsible for crimes against humanity committed by the Nazis. I like how they put that in there. By the way, if you didn't remember, uh, the newly released kit has also caused controversy with its choice of pink for the away colors. Oh, so they're like, and it's gay by the way. (laughs) Not only is this Nazi stuff, it's also gay. Who is number 44? That's the thing. There is no number. Like people, they were talking about the personalization, but now I bet one of the players is going to jump on that number. The issue was first raised by historian Michael Koenig, who said the design of the kits were very questionable. The SS 
rune was designed for use by the Nazi units in 29. Members of the SS range from Gestapo agents, blah, blah, blah. We all know that. Concentration camps, death camps, millions of Jews. We know what mm. happened. Adidas spokesman Oliver Brugen denied that the kit's resemblance to the Nazi symbols was intentional. Uh, well, I would hope so. <laughs> I mean, that would be wild if he was like, yeah, no, we meant to do that. It's German. <laughs> <laughs> Adidas separately told the BBC that the German Football Association and its partners had designed the numbers on the shirts. In a post on X slash Twitter, the DFB said the shirt designs had been submitted to the UEFA for review during the design process. And none of the parties involved saw any proximity to Nazi symbolism. They had, So it's almost like they're saying to this guy, got Nazis on the brain, pal. Mm, mm-hmm. Get your mind out of the gutter. It's one of those situations. Yeah, it's on it's you. Like, yeah, like, we're, you know, like if a friend says something and you assume it's dirty or something and they're like, where's your head at? Yeah. That kind of thing. Exactly. So Nailed they're like, it. hey, historian, you're obsessed with the fucking Holocaust. That's why you see it. But yeah, there you go. I mean, that's pretty close. <laughs> Look at that SS right there. Yeah, that's that very that. close. That's yeah, that looks like close. a 44. Uh, anyway, Germany <sighs> will hold this year's European Football Championship, which will be held in 10 different cities. Football is in soccer. Soccer, yes, European football. Not to confuse football. our sports fans Not out there. Not to confuse mm-hmm. our sports fans. Not at all. There mm. was something else I sent that was just a pure video, and I don't even remember what it was. Is it on there? Oh, no, that was the fucking Nazi thing. I'm sorry. Boy, oh, boy. Um, This is back to... um. Seymour Wiener. Oh yeah, Seymour Wiener. My grandpa's name was Richard, but uh oh, Dick went by Dick our whole lives. And anytime he introduced himself to someone, he'd be like, "Hi, I'm Dick," and my grandma would go, "Richard, it's Richard." <laughs> <laughs> no matter what. No one I mean, called him Dick though. I mean, yeah, everyone did. Oh, but like awesome. later in life, I mean. Since I knew him, every time he introduced himself as Dick, my grandma would go, it's Richard. It's Richard. His name is Richard. Well, speaking of seeing more wiener, uh, <laughs> I got more news stories. I've never really done this before, but I want to get back into some news ones again. Great. Two bum, news bum, segments. Bum, what do you mean you've bum, never bum, done this bum, before? Bum, 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 bum. This is a first? Yeah, I've, n- I've usually done them all together. And this wow. time I, I go, hey, wait a minute. I missed a whole Well, bunch. back to sports again really fast. Yes. I'm a big fan of Formula One now. Oh, that's right. I've told you this. You did. You watched the television show. Correct. Just and wanted so to what's been put going that on? Can there. you give us a Formula One update? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not up to date. I'm on season four, mm. and I'm really taking my time because there's six seasons. So I'm about like I'm following Formula One from three years ago. I see. So, and so I don't want don't, any spoilers. Us, uh, I don't want any spoilers, <laughs> to be so honest. <laughs> I'm just saying I like watching it and I'm a fan and I am trying to manifest going to Monaco. You turn on a ESPN and you're like, oh, you write them a strongly worded letter. You just spoiled season four <laughs> yeah. of the F1 movie. Because I know apparently there's a lot of drama going on. I'm like, don't tell me. I don't want to know because <laughs> I want it to be a surprise. No, you want to go to Monaco, huh? That would be fun. Um, just think it'd be fun. So I just want to put it out there if anyone... It's free tickets to, to Formula Mon- One <laughs> Monaco race. I am um, I actually know actively a few Formula manifesting. One people ticket stuff, so we can maybe make this happen. Okay, we'll maybe talk. not Monaco, but we can. Make oh yeah, it happen Texas, Las Vegas, but also, Florida. My favorite one is NASCAR, and they just started a show just like that. Yes, for NASCAR. Yes, they have. Have you I, tried? No, no, no. I am very loyal to Formula One. Well, you got to check out the NASCAR well, one first. It's maybe more. Next. I think you'll like it because it's a little more. Hey, country music. In no, well, you think America. I like country music? Taylor Swift's country music. Oh, it's true. But she's the only country artist I like. Yeah, but, but I feel like you like the boys in country music. Who? I don't know. Keith Urban? <laughs> what are their names? I guess that's true. I mean, I guess I have no idea. I don't know country music at what all. What about like Zach Bryan or whatever? Never heard or of Or like him. Luke Bryan. But Zach, I feel like they all have the same name. Zach Bryan sounds like a name I would be very attracted to. Zach Bryan, oh, Luke, Luke Bryan, Bryan from, from The Voice, Zach Brown. I, I mean, they're all the same names. They mm. all sound. I couldn't tell you which one was which. You know if what? If you put them in a lineup in front of me, I know the ones drink dating uh, Brianna Chicken Fry. Who's this there? one here? This guy. Is she on OnlyFans? No. Sounds That'd be so funny. Like, sounds like an OnlyFans name. Okay. So you're not into him? No. What Never about, even now heard of him. Now show me Zach Brown. 
<laughs> show, show me Zach. I gotta Brown. see the difference. Okay, so that one's which one? Zach Bryan. That's Zach Bryan. Okay. Okay, so I gotta <laughs> discern that. Oh God, and I'm not attracted to Zach Brown. Okay, Zach I Brown, no it. dice. Uh, now show me Luke Bryan. Now Z- Zach Brown is giving me um, Jason Kelsey, Kelsey vibes. Yeah, you got a Jason. You're a Travis. I'm a Travis. Yes. Okay, Luke Bryan's cute. Okay. I know who he is from American Idol. He's on American That's Idol. That's the only reason I know him. He's a judge on American Idol. So yeah, they all they all have the same fucking oh, game. Oh, look at young Luke Bryan. I like y- young Luke Bryan. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, but no, now maybe I'll get into country music i didn't know they were such cuties Uh (laughs) uh-oh well that's what i just thought they were just like fucking golden retriever boys galore i guess they are anywho uh why were we talking talking about about news (laughs) sorry no yeah we were but why are we talking about nascar oh yeah watch the nascar one okay i'll let you know what i think i think there's cute cute boys in there show me nascar boys show me nascar boys (laughs) just google nat current nascar (laughs) NASCAR drivers kids. i mean trying to think of who the, i mean they are kids basically it's so know, weird back when i like was 20 when i first started watching nascar it was old fat men like jimmy spencer and ricky rudd fucking racing and now it's fucking little yeah, children you know what are they, like engineers or whatever i would swipe right on all of them you would swipe right on it not kyle bush don't say that josh not barry. josh barry i but. would you would chase briscoe for sure we have the same name there's a lot of chases there's chase yeah, elliott chase Brisco- bush, that's a there's kyle a million bush. chases in fucking oh perfect chase elliott big it could one. be fun today to chase um austin yeah austin i'd swipe right on all of them ty gibbs ty's 14 the poor thing <laughs> <laughs> they are young go show me oh my uh, god carson's is, 12 is there uh is chase elliott on there because he's like a he's a big deal Chase Elliott, number nine. My eye went straight to him. Oh, absolutely. There you go. Cutie patootie. I think he's age appropriate as well. Is NASCAR all American? Pretty much. There's some foreigners who try to step in there, like Juan Pablo Montoya, and he's only good at the fucking (laughs) road fucking (laughs) courses, because of course, go back to your fucking indie car. This is the most white roster I've ever seen. 100%. Bubba Wallace, the only African-American guy. This isn't good. They celebrate him quite a bit. There was a big hullabaloo, and there was evidently a noose in his uh, stall one time. His name's Ross? Ross who? He's not white? Ross Chastain. No, he is white. Oh, okay. He's just very tan. Oh, (laughs) Just a very t- Ross Chastain got a little Ariana Grande <laughs> happening to you here, pal. Bubba Wallace. Bubba Wallace is the only black guy, uh, and he looks so white. He looks so white. You think? Yeah, no, he is not. I'm afraid. Huh. Anywho, okay. Well, anywho, I'll I'll the, watch. Uh, inner city blacks. Penis. Whoa. <laughs> Penis. <laughs> you did that one on your own. Mm-hmm. It sounded just like it. Freddie Jackson sent this in to Josh Potter Show at gmail.com. I don't know if it's Fred Jackson from Co College, played for the Buffalo Bills for many years, running back. That would be cool. But it could just be another guy named Fred Jackson. Okay. Anyway, it said, This is a cool girl. A banker who mocked the penis size. <gasps> penis. Size. Mm <laughs> hmm. And salaries of cops as she was arrested after being barred from a flight has a long history of getting drink oh or getting drunk, excuse me, on work trips. Do we have a video of this? <laughs> She's going to get fired. That was a hell of an opening paragraph. <laughs> I mean, think about how hard it is going to be for her to get a job. Not as a, yeah, as a banker. <laughs> She's getting sauced and yelling at cops. Oh, this poor woman. She mocked the penis size and salaries of cops. So what do you think she said? If you, you were, you, if you were to venture to guess. Penis is so small and I bet you have... Four thousand dollars a year. <laughs> it's actually really close. She said, "You pieces of shit making sixty k a year. I bet you all have small dicks." I like yours better. Wait, I try to say the same thing. Okay, I would say, or she would. Now, say, would, now, what would you say if you were her? You had to say these things. Oh, I'm sorry. I was in your way. I wouldn't say any of this. I bet your dicks are so big, and you make a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have the video? It's like, it's like 30 minutes long. What? Oh, yeah. we love that. I mean, just get to the fucking point of it. <laughs> she looked, doesn't she just l- scream Karen? 
Well, obviously, she, Angela Nicole Killian's her name. She's 44, a divorced mother of two. She was flying American Airlines from Dallas, Fort Worth to Bogota, Colombia. And why did she even get? Oh, yeah. You piece of shit. You make. Well, we're going like to get to it here. Newly released police body cam footage video shows cops arresting her for public intoxication. Now, I've been mm. in, I've been intoxicated in public pretty much every day for the last I don't know how long. I mean, how do you get arrested for something like that? Me too. I once a police told me go home. Wow. But, but what I was did, that? What did you do? Were you like your dick is so big? Excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was um, outside of a bar, kind of just like roaming around. <laughs> roaming just roaming around i was almost gonna step into traffic on accident and the <laughs> oh you were roaming like that you were i was just kind of roaming around st- bumbling stumbling bumbling. this was college and the police just said go home time to go home and yeah, i said you got it as if you weren't trying to already <laughs> yeah oh boy so but that, anyways that's a fun story right i've never got me the, to go home i've never got public intoxication hmm. that is nice yeah, he, I mean... What if he was like, hey, drive home? <laughs> <laughs> Did you park? Is your car Where's nearby? Where's your car park? Get to <laughs> it and drive home. Get out of here. Go home. Get out of here. <laughs> Let's see this video so we don't have audio. In September 2023, officers were called to the airport in regards to a highly intoxicated woman. So there we go. Oh, this is it? Oh. I've done voiceover before, so yeah, I'm yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. happy to read this. So they grab her. They're pushing her. She's got her luggage, and I'm sure she's. Look at the view, just right, on her, right on her. I mean, this is body cam footage. Oh, she's okay. videoing the cops too, and her hair is short, folks. It is a short she, hair. She has her hair shut has it down. Had it up to here. She has shut it down, and now she's sitting down. Okay. What the hell's going on with this thing? Why no? Why does, is there no what, audio? Do we have any sound on this? Damn. What a bummer. Oh, oh, there we go. Because right now, it's completely escalated. Okay? It's a woman cop, turns name? out. So, yeah, of, course she has a small, of course she has a small... Of course she has a small penis. She's, she's a time. woman. Oh, yeah. What, what happened? Just three. What did you say to Captain Sam? What did you say to Captain Sam? How's it going? Yeah, everyone okay? Yeah. Now the man cop comes. Here he is with yeah, his yeah. small dick okay, and his low s- low salary. Touch she touched Somebody? me, her, and okay. her. So what, what happened? Damn. She touched me, her, and her. <laughs> this video sucks. I kind of love it. Why does it keep I'm stopping? Kidding. Just play. I don't even know what's going on. That's what I'm trying yep, to figure out. Yep, you don't. Right. And I am not f***ing walking my way into this. So you f- <laughs> this is not what you think. I have flown for 30 years. I'm a high school graduate and I've worked my way out of the darkest. Oh my God. I honestly do they know that they're on camera or something because they're just like I worked by like giving their little sob story of a lifetime I worked my way out of the darkest of places I'm a high school graduate I'm a high school graduate yeah okay so is ever I mean that is not a brag lady <laughs> I'm a dumb fucking moron and guess what <laughs> I finished that shit early basically everyone they set it up that way you go to any public school they try to get you the fuck out of there with that high school diploma <laughs> they want you to get a fucking job I want to hear, call them small dick losers. All right, let's go. That's a woman. No, no, I have a lawyer. I have an option to get a lawyer. If you fight us. I have an option to get a lawyer. When you get to the jail, you can discuss that with him. If you fight us, you get another. God, imagine yelling so much. Please keep it playing. Another charge, and you don't get out in four hours. Do you understand that? (gasps) Do you understand? Okay. You piece of (gasps) shit. And I'll sit down and I'll not get detained. So now Look at that I guy's sleeping. <laughs> yeah, that'd be me Wait, in the airport. <laughs> Will you shut that lady up? I'm trying to sleep here in this fucking layover, for Christ's sake, on this terrible, awful chair that they gave us. <laughs> get off of my f***ing cuffs. What did I do? Stop. All right, stop. <gasps> we're charging with resistance. I have a recording. Pieces of mediocre and your life. Whoa. You make yourself feel good making 60 grand a year. <laughs> I didn't hear it call him small dick though. Yet. It hasn't come up yet. You f-ing tiny piece of Oh, there you go. You tiny dick piece of shit. You feel good 
and your wife with your five inch. <laughs> you hey, hey, what's wrong with five inches, lady? Hey, are you done yet? Yeah. Did they put her on the floor because she said they have five inch dicks? I mean, that she he did seem to that did bother him. It seemed and five inches is nothing to sneeze that at, lady. Him. You stupid bitch. I mean, what the hell? He goes, "Don't you dare insult my dick." Does your does your wife like it when you fuck her? I got oddly hot for a second there. I was like, "Whoa, is she trying to fuck him or is she trying to resist?" Maybe she wanted to get thrown on the ground a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god! Wild. I didn't expect her to get so detailed with it. Very detailed. Do you like fucking your wife with that five inch? Di- five inches. I mean, if you're, if you're gonna go small, you gotta go two or three, lady. I mean, come on. Yeah, isn't that normal? Five. I mean, I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, five. I. You think she'd say like micro penis? Yeah, you think she'd be like your fucking micro penis? You stupid fucking. <laughs> One wow. inch dick fucking You know, bitch. I watch these videos and I get so sad because. Why? Because you weren't there? No, <laughs> that's, I wish that was what I said. Because there's just so many of these ladies in our country. Oh. There's like channels on TikTok dedicated to Karens. There's so much content of these women. And yeah. it's awful makes you wonder if they notice that and that's why they raise this thing i mean it's so crazy to uh i guess if you're drunk you do things i don't if i was drunk i'd be like i'm such a piece of shit i'm so sorry officer what happened i don't know why i'm here i think they wouldn't sobered up though they wouldn't throw me on the ground for resisting they'd throw me on the ground because they'd be like be a fucking man (laughs) god yeah stand up for yourself god you're so pathetic (laughs) like your dick's so big and i bet you make lots of money (laughs) Wow. All right, Chase. We'll plug everything in anything. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Um, I would love to plug my OnlyFans again. Yes, um, please. Chase Elaine. Mm. And then um, I do have that tea company still. Pity Party. P-I-T-Y-P-A-R-T-E-A dot com for any tea needs you might have. Follow it on Instagram. I like the reels you make. And one time Chase wanted me to help her make some reels and she goes, I don't want anything too dark. And then like all of them are about existential dread. Yeah. One got, drinking tea. One got 12 million views. Wow. I know. I mean, if only I could translate that to my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but anyways, those are the two things I want to plug. I'm going to be at um, the Netflix is a joke festival May 7th and 8th, but I'll post those on my Instagram. Ooh, that's exciting. And folks, if you want to come see uh, the old roach live, the Josh is where you can go check it out. By the way, do send in your reportings and your instrumentals the way that uh, kill a cope sent in this bad boy here. Uh, make sure you go over to Josh Potter show at gmail.com to send those in. But if you want to see me live tickets for all the shows are available, the Josh Potter.com, or you can just go to the description and find all the dates. Again, we got so many dates, April 26th, 27th, Huntsville, Alabama, May 3rd, Seattle, May 17th, and 18th, Chicago, May 30th, Washington, DC, Allentown, PA. The day after that, May 30th, Tim Butterly at the Emmaus theater. We got Houston, we got Baltimore, we got Cleveland, we got Boston, we got Omaha, we got Des Moines, we got Portland, we got Long Island. Go over to thejoshpotter.com and buy tickets to whatever the hell city you're in. I hope that I'm coming there ASAP. Also, uh, the Patreon, patreon.com slash thejoshpottershow. You know, rate, review, like this whole thing. Please keep it going. Tell your friends about it if you enjoy it. And we will see you next time, all right? Thank you to Alex. Thank you to Bobby. Thank you to Chase. Thank you to Kirsten. (laughs) Love y'all. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Live and direct with the roach. We shotgun the beers. I got time for a toast. It's the only place I get for sports like for real. Sonny taught us nobody's more sus than Russell Wilson. Here's the deal, son. Won't find us in Walmart. Josh Potter, keep it frank, kind of like a ballpark. It wasn't nothing talking all that jism. Turns out there's a lot of semen terrorism. Now it's time we hit them. Bring and bottle to the plate. Roach, eat your words with Chase O'Donnell the Great. Let me stop for a second because it's ass Marty time because it's idiocy. You know I cannot abide. Not a fan of these guys. Gonna damage the rise. Worse than the host known as the roach. Leaving idiot woman standing on the side or looking like she just tripped into 
promote. I'ma kill this Henny beat like, uh-uh, murder. Been in more studios than most have ever heard of. Please to be listening, hit that like and subscribe. So many bills have got the mafia vibe. A lot to describe like a roach reporter. Teacher on OF, don't report her. Trying to live life with my mannequin wife and my mannequin kids if that's my mannequin right. Been a fan of this guy since a roach motel. Couple hundred weeks in, still funny as hell. From the tick cups to back sis and blind eyes, Potter has one of the best, best shows of all time. Now watch this drive. Pop a couple tall cans with the roach king and caught the vibe. Ready to pour more, scurry out the floorboards, hit like, comment, and subscribe.